Hello guys, once again it's Matt and today we have another video. Thank you all the members, all the patrons. Make sure to subscribe and let's get into it. So we have the Wednesday normal. It's fixed. So uh, I, I am in the wrong thing here. So yeah, it's fixed number 74. Some very cool additions here that we are going to talk about. I don't like to just read on this. I like to go to this one. Uh, I will leave everything in the description. So let's take a look and test everything that has been changed. Some very cool stuff. So M60A2 bug with the explosion of the smoke grenades, high altitude above the tank. Okay. M18. Okay. Bug that causes armor vehicles with multiple reverse gears when using automatic automatic transmissions to, to reverse. In first gear only has been fixed. So yeah, uh, some of the tanks might have a better... Um, Basically reverse. So yeah, a bug that caused a maximum reverse speed on wheel of the vehicles to be unachieved if the wheels were turned. So yeah, that has been fixed as, as well. Apparently it's something like it's not giving the most amount of the, the, the max power of the vehicle. So yeah, that's fixed. Vienna and Breslau, some physical materials that could significantly slow down the movement of the wheel of wheeled vehicles. Jesus Christ. For examples on bridge, um, on the bridges has been corrected. Okay, so let's go for the aircraft. The aircraft is pretty interesting. We're going to test these things on the game, but yeah, AGM 65A, AGM 65B, and the the autopilot of the rocket has been changed, and they actually added the loft maneuver. So let's take a look on this. I actually wanted to test it out. Let me point the nose to it. Uh, let's see if he lofts. I mean, is that even a loft? I don't think it was kind of a loft, right? I mean, I don't know. It doesn't feel like it's lofting. It, it's kind of weird, actually. Let me test it out again. It's, it, I don't know, it, it doesn't feel like it's lofting. Maybe I have to lower my... Um, or maybe it needs to be like further away, but still. And or I need to lower my altitude as well. Then you will need to climb to do something. It's not working as the KH-25. The KH-25 actually, uh, if you test that missile, you will see that it like just goes immediately to the max that it can uh, lofting. Which is kind of funny actually. <laughs> But you can still hit target from further, like, away, like, 8 kilometers, nonetheless. So it's it's not, not like, bad in, in any way, right? Let's see if it... Oh, now it's lofting. Yeah, good. So it needs to properly realize that in the, it, it will need to loft to, to actually get to the target, right? So it will. So that's pretty actually pretty cool, man. It is actually pretty, pretty cool. Look at the Maverick there, flying around. And explosion. So, yeah, very cool. So the lofting is working, but it is working in certain situations, right? Um, I'm going to try to test it out again. If it's nothing too crazy, I would just move on. But I will go very far away to see if it actually, like, really goes to a lofting position. As you see, he lofts really high if he actually needs the range, man. So, yeah, the range should be a lot better right now. Look at the amount of loft of that thing, man. So, yeah, pretty cool, man. So, the Maverick is actually lofting pretty well, actually. Let's see if I can actually hit the targets. Come on, where are the missiles? I don't know if the first one will actually hit. Yeah, there you go. They're flying right there. Splash one. And the other one over here. I missed. <laughs> Buddy catch on fire. So, yeah, pretty cool. Pretty cool. So, yeah, then we go for the F84F. A bug on the HVARs. A bug. Okay, on the Lightning. Jaguar. Okay, um, 
Yeah, because these aircraft you cannot actually use the uh, drop the the. It's basically a bug that you can actually drop the containers or the missiles or anything like that with these aircraft. Um, but the, before launching, right, just drop like jettison. But uh, the Lightning F three F fifty three. And the Jaguar GR1A can actually use these weapons above the wing. So they probably wouldn't be able to do that, right? So, yeah. And some other bugs, like you can see weapon selectors. And the bug is kind of tracking not to work when you... Okay. But we're using the default takeoff landing training prompt. Okay. A bug switching to the premium piece. Piston aircraft thing. Uh, the, okay. Bug uh, the, yeah, nothing too crazy, but still. Uh, interface. Display of the correct maximum allowed mass has been added to the suspended R uh, weaponry edit window. Also, displaying the mass for each pod has been added to the drop-down suspended weaponry menu. So this is pretty good. Uh, we're going to test it out. The ability to move the NVIDIA and cell camera by using WSD is being restored. VR bug. Okay, nothing too crazy. Let's go back to the game. And you will see that we have something pretty good right now. Um, let me go to second weaponry here in the A10, for example. Uh, edit. And now when you are going to edit, uh, it's going to actually show the mass over here and also show the maximum weight that you can actually take. So, for example, if you add it here, it's already saying how much weight you can actually use. As you see, it's increasing. And you can see it here, how much of it you can actually, um, you're going to actually use. So for example, of course we have the unbalancing, but as you see, I mean, day 10 is just crazy, right? I mean, I was trying to, I was trying to actually go for a maximum weight here, but day 10 is just too, too strong. Um, I don't know what aircraft will have weight limitations, maybe something weird i don't know but anyway you can actually see the weight limitations right here when you're going to edit stuff so that's pretty good so as you see 3000 kilograms so 44 44 as you see oh i want to use the m54s uh for example let's add it here so it's actually just using the weight over there so yeah it's actually pretty good right And then, for example, there. So you can see the weight there. So yeah, pretty cool, right? And also, as I said, each time you are going to take a look on here, it's going to have the weight on the side here. So it's just an overall better quality of life kind of improvement. Uh, it's funny to actually take a look on, for example, an F-13, and you will create, for example, a new one here. And then look at the weight of the name 54 man. For M fifty fours, it's like almost eighteen thousand, uh, eighteen hundred kilograms. It's it's crazy how much weight these M fifty fours have. I mean, two point six tons if you used to do the six phoenixes. That's why you probably shouldn't ever use these load. It's too heavy, man. Look at this. So yeah, even with the, just the, the, the things here. Yeah, let me just check with the. Yeah, see, less than a ton, uh, like, less. So, yeah, pretty cool, right? But anyway, this was it, guys. These two changes, the Maverick and the weight uh, on here are the bigger ones, in my opinion. Of course, players that tank uh, use tanks will also enjoy the reverse bug fix there. But still, pretty cool. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye, guys.